Hey folks, Dave here, coast of Humboldt County, October 8th, and uh, mixed forest, I have some redwood, some uh, alder, spruce, and probably a little bit of Douglas fir, it's kind of a mixed coniferous forest, uh, pretty much right on the coast, and we're looking for chanterelles, and I just started to see Boletus edulis. Boletus edulis are some of the best in my opinion, for Italian cooking, I tend not to like them when they're just cooked raw. I like to dry them and then powder them up and put them in soups and other things. Just gives a, what the Japanese would call umame, a richness, a savoriness to um, most Italian cooking. And here is one right here. So you can see we've got the right under basically a redwood. Um, a lot of the mushrooms that we look for on the coast the edibles anyway are not in, in the redwood but these are and I'm starting to see more than one in this area um, the I just spotted some out in the um, a little east of here and uh, decided I wanted to come up to my spot uh, you can kind of see here's the the telltale markings and everything of this one I'm just pulling it out right now um, I try not to disturb that too much. The actual fungus, the mycelium, is down in here. You can see the little bit of whiteness down in there. That's the actual mushroom itself, the fungus, uh, Boletus edulis. And this is what they look like. Uh, this one's pretty, seems pretty firm. They can be very wormy on the inside. You see that they do not have gills. Um, the attachment is uh, kind of free up there. It is attached, but just kind of opened up like that. They um, they have kind of a uh, spear shape when they're smaller. And you can see that the reticulation on there, that, that color and that texture is there. Um, the inside is very fibrous. You can see that there, white flesh. And these tend not to bruise if you hit them a little bit. They'll bruise a little brown, but they do not go um, they do not go blue like some of the other Aureo Boletus do. So Boletus edulis, one of the finest edible mushrooms on the north coast. And uh, get out there and have fun out there.